Okay guys, so before this tutorial starts, I want you to check out RaymondDigital.com. It's basically a website where you can get like really awesome high quality intro templates that are really easy to edit. All the info is in the description down below. <laughs> What's up guys, my name is Alex and welcome back to a brand new Student of Vegas tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to create an awesome outro. So last Wednesday I uploaded a video like how to create an awesome intro now that video got received like so well It got like almost a thousand views in an hour. In this video I'm going to show you guys how to create an awesome outro. So it's gonna be really simple and I would say let's get started. Okay guys So the first thing is like you're gonna think what is gonna be a cool outro? Well, basically nobody uses annotations anymore because YouTube really recently rolled out like the, like that or the whole end card screen so we're gonna make a really really simple outro with like a background and just some text because we're gonna add in like to like to subscribe and the, and the next video uh, on YouTube itself you don't need to do that anymore in Sony Vegas so what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna open up the folder that, ha that has everything in it that we need so I'm gonna open up the folder right here so just like last time just disregard the thumbnail uh, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add in a background and obviously I just picked it like a random gray gr um, like texture so you guys can like you guys can pick anything you like. I'm just going to use a gray texture for this. But as you can see right now, I dragged in the picture, but it has like two black bars. We don't want that. So I'm going to right click on the text, properties, um, maintain aspect radio, uncheck that one, boom, and there we go. There, now the black bars are gone. This is going to be the surface that we're going to work on. So basically now that we have our background, the only thing we're going to do is we're going to click on media generators. I'm going to go over to titles and texts. And I'm going to drag that guy on top of there and I'm going to just type in thank you for watching that's actually a pretty obvious uh, sentence to be, you know to have an outro so I'm going to pick uh, thank you for watching but as you can see when I type it's going to be out of the screen because it's way too big so I'm just going to select everything let's go and let's make this one 30 it's still too big let's pick 25 a little bit too big let's pick 23 that's perfect so now we're going to go over and I'm going to place this guy uh, I would say right here and let's make sure it's centered so just make this what make sure that this guy is on 50 because that's centered so now let's just pick a different font and let's see what kind of uh, like fancy font we're gonna find here uh, so I'm just going to pick a nice font I would say this one looks pretty cool then we're gonna add in a little bit of outline just for effect I'm just going to click on outline with and as you can see it's getting really thick but we just want to go ahead and pick black obviously you can you can pick any color you like now I'm going to just pick black because that, that, in my case that looks best for me I'm going to make this you know the outline a little bit thicker there we go and let's also add some shadows just click on shadow just check this box boom boom and we have some awesome shadows so as you can see right now we have thank you for watching but I think that shadow is a little bit too much so I'm gonna just drag those markers a little bit back. So let's 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 make those from from 200 to 50. That's looking really good. So as you can see right now, we're gonna just gonna close this out, and now we we have like a part of our outro. So the next thing that we're gonna do is I'm gonna add in like a black bar. You know, um, I'm gonna add that one underneath the text. Which that's just a little like a little small effect, like a detail. I'm gonna go over and I'm just going to drag in a black bar. You know, just a black image of a bar. Okay, so as you can see, we have the black bar right here, but we're gonna make that guy under the text so I'm gonna make a new video track and we're gonna place this text on top of there and the black bar underneath right here so as you can see the black bar is actually not in the right position so I'm gonna place this guy in the right position so I'm gonna click on track motion and I'm just going to mess around with this, with this box until it looks good so it has to cover the entire text so I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger make sure that this one is like in the middle so that is looking pretty good guys but we're gonna make it like a little more detailed and we're gonna so that we can see through the black bar so I'm gonna just X this out I'm gonna stand with my my mouse at the top and I'm going to mess around with the opacity as you can see right here we have like a black bar right now this is too much this is like too like this is not enough so we're gonna do we're gonna mess around until we are happy with it so I think this is a little bit too much but I would say let's make this uh, bar like this you know that, that you can look through it so that looks pretty good guys so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add in some music so i'm gonna drag in a nice non-copyrighted song in here which is called uh, the edge by uh no copyright sounds so i'm gonna drag that guy in and i'm just going to start where the drop begins so i'm gonna let's see i'm gonna turn on my headset because there's audio and let's go ahead and let's see uh where the audio is i'm gonna mask that onto uh the outro off oh, so let's go ahead and cut uh, from where we should start and let's place it to the beginning let's place the volume down a little bit and let's see how it sounds right now And 
when I when I hear that, I'm just going to make I'm going to go to the very end of the track and I'm going to pick the last dish. This this one. Dish. I'm going to cut away and now I'm going to place that guy at the very end of this outro. So so it's so it sounds that it's going to like like have like a dish and then it's done. So let's go ahead and cut until where it fits. That's a, bit, a little bit too uh, too early. So let's drag it a little bit to the right and let's go ahead and start placing this guy where it should be. As you can see, it almost sounds good. That sounds really, really good, guys. So this is what we made so far, just by cutting the end of the song into the middle. So this is how our outro sounds right now. So that sounds really good, guys. So now that we have finished that, we're gonna just go ahead and start rendering this out. So let's just cut away everything right here. So let's see uh, where we should end the video. So I'm gonna cut away everything to a nice steady point. Boom, I'm gonna add in a fade out as well. Fade out right here, fade out on the black bar. So now we're gonna go ahead and render this out, this outro, and then we're gonna go ahead and upload this because when you finished out rendering this, you know, this outro, you just wanna go ahead and include this intro, uh, this outro to the very end of every video of yours. So I'm just gonna render this out and you guys are just gonna pretend that you guys made a full video with this outro. Render out this, I'm gonna click on render as. I'm just gonna call this uh, just a random outro. I'm gonna render out and upload this to YouTube and, and I will show you guys how to apply those end screens uh, in there. So I will see you guys when I finished rendering, finished uploading, so I'll come back to you guys in just a second. Okay, so now the outro is uploading, so let's wait a few more seconds. A few moments later. Okay, so now that the outro is uploaded, we're gonna pretend that this is going to be the full video. So we're gonna go over to end screens and annotations and we are just going to include our element right here by clicking right here on element and we're gonna add in um, the subscribe button so I'm gonna go add element subscribe and I'm gonna place this guy like in the middle subscribe button right there and then a new video of course so add video playlist create and now you can choose a most recent upload best reviewer or choose a video playlist I'm just gonna go on best reviewer because YouTube's going to decide which video will fits best and then we're gonna just place this guy next to the subscribe button then we're gonna have our freaking badass outro so let's click on save and obviously you can only place the outro the you know subscribe button and the card at the, at the last 20 seconds of your of your video so you're just going to have to make sure to place those uh, at the you know in the right place right here. I wish I could show it, but as you can see right now, it doesn't let me freaking play. So this is going to look like you know as you can see the subscribe button and then obviously um, the video. So that's the sim list, guys. That's how you make an awesome outro in Sony Vegas and also on YouTube. So that's the sim list. Thank you guys for liking. Thank you for subscribing. If you like this video, make sure to smash the like button down below. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for one new video evolving to a better YouTuber. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. So that is it for the video guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to smash the like button down below and also subscribe button at the bottom. So thank you for the continued support. If you want to see more content, make sure to click right here. That's it for today. Thank you guys and I'll see you guys tomorrow.